This video will show you how to complete the action plan and submit your EFP workbook for review. Section C summarizes all the questions in Section B that you have identified as Risk 3 or Risk 4 so that you can develop your action plan. You will see these questions listed in the navigation panel on the left hand side. Questions in Section B that are regulatory in nature have been tagged. Risk ratings of three or four for these questions could indicate regulatory violations and should be addressed immediately. The action plan can be created by answering three questions for each risk three and risk four identified. Click on the question in the navigation menu to create that action plan. Here, you will see a summary of the question and what your answer was. Scroll down and this is where you can create your action plan. How do you intend to address the risk? So decide what you can do to reduce the risk you have identified above. You can find suggestions for what you can do by looking at the low risk ratings in one or two. So if you are unsure of what to put in your action plan of what you can do, Scroll back up and take a look and read through what it tells you in Risk Rating 1 and Risk Rating 2. These two will describe what the goal of this would be. So you can get ideas from there to put into your action plan. So type your answer in the box. The next question is what is your timeline for completion? Select the time frame for making the desired change to the, reduce this risk. So within a year, one to three years, or more than three years. The last question of, for the action plan for this one is what are the challenges for implementation? So this is a drop down menu. You can select what the primary challenge would be to implement this action plan. Time, money, equipment, access to professional services, or other. Once these three questions are complete, you can click save and continue to move to the next required action plan. Once all of the action plans listed in the navigation menu have been completed with a green check mark, you will then be able to submit your workbook for review. Here you can click that you certify that the information provided in this workbook is true and to the best of your knowledge. Once you click that, you can then click the submit button and this will send your workbook to an EFP reviewer through Keystone Agricultural Producers. They will then review your workbook. So your EFP has been submitted for review. This is back to your dashboard and you can see the status of your workbook here anytime you log in. The reviewer that has been assigned to you will show up here and once it has been returned, it will either be returned to you if they have questions or they will reach out to you by phone or email. If it has been approved, it will show up here as approved and you will be able to receive your statement of completion and download a copy of your completed workbook.